Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I just want to do a project share. These are the memory decks cards that I have been working on. I know that I have talked about those a little bit, and I am just loving them. So this is the presentation that I'm going to do. I know it's nothing fancy with a Ziploc bag, but I thought it was cute with the little bunny. And I hopefully can open this. I think I can. Yes. Because I didn't think to film this before I put them all in here and sealed it up. But these are for my friend Lisa. So this month we are doing um, memory decks swaps and it's the three of us, Lisa, Ellen, and myself. And we're picking two themes every month to do. And this month's themes are bees and Easter or spring. So obviously I have done a lot more than those two and I'm just going to give all of these to them at the same time, but uh, it's been so much fun. I have really been loving it. But this is my Easter one, and you can open this up, and there's a little chick with an egg in it. I think that's so cute. And I love the little bunny. Now, they are very similar, but they might not be exactly the same, but they have all the same pieces and parts on them between the two of them. So I'm only gonna show you uh, this pack, which is Lisa's but really cute and I colored these with uh, my alcohol markers they were just regular rhinestones so that was fun super cute I think I really like it so there's the Easter one and let's see I think I'm gonna try to keep them in some sort of order and then here's the B one so these were the two that we said that we were gonna do so I found these bees at Hobby Lobby along with the sunflowers, which I thought were adorable. I liked this little bow. I just had this ribbon in my stash. And then I put some tool, I cut a little box out, and then I, or a square out, and I put yellow paper behind it, and then I cut some tool and uh, put that in the window, and then I added some glittery bits, sequins. So that's that, and then I just uh, took some of the, it's actually ribbon, it, it's not tulle, it's ribbon, because this is it, and I just put a little bit of it on the side. I just thought that turned out really cute, and I cut this out with my Cricut. So those were my two entries or whatever, I don't know what to call them, but, so then all of these are just extras that I have, like I said, I've been loving making these, so these are just a stamp that I have, and it says, it's exhausting being this fabulous, I don't know how we do it, so that's cute, and then this one was, oh, excuse me, a direct copy from Pinterest, I just saw it and liked it, but I used real eyelashes, I ordered some on Amazon, or real fake eyelashes, uh, they, I think, drew theirs, but I thought that would be a really cute addition, so I added these. It's really kind of neat. And then I cut this out with my Cricut, and I used some of my Elizabeth uh, Craft Designs Micro Fine Glitter Sparkly stuff so, to make that, so that was really fun. I think that turned out super cute. And then I did this one for summer, and I just used some cray paper and a sticker and some pineapple washi and threw it together. I think it turned out pretty cute. This one was a lot of fun to make too with the coffee. So I had this ribbon and this is a stamp. So I stamped this and then I cut out the little cardboard pieces like the wrap and then I uh, oh, paper pieced them on and I added just a little bit of uh, doily, white tea lace paper doily from Stampin' Up. I don't know if those are still available. I found these at Hobby Lobby, so I added those. Um, the paper, I don't remember where it's from, and I think the ribbon is from Hobby Lobby too. And then I just found a Googled quotes and I found coffee and friends make the perfect blend. And I found that online and I just printed it myself on Word and yeah. So that is that one. This one was a lot of fun. I found this and I really liked it. It says, I can totally keep secrets. It's, it's the people I tell them to that can't. <laughs> and this is an old bag that I'm just recycling, kind of like this one. 
So I am just recycling this. I think it was from Happy or from Sweet Kawaii Designs, and I just kind of wrinkled it up so it fit on the memory decks card and then I used a ribbon and just kind of put it on there and then I put some sequins and some flowers and some uh, stickles glitter around the picture that I just printed on word this one I didn't make into a memory decks card but I thought that it would be cute just to throw in your traveler's notebook and I just thought she was cute I liked coloring her so that's an extra and this one I love this one was, um, it's a die that I purchased on AliExpress, and I just think it turned out so cute. And then I added some Wink of Stella. I cut this out in rose gold, like foil paper, and then the rest in just cardstock. And I just think it turned out really cute. And I have a card here that I made for my daughter that looks a little different that I haven't sent yet, but this is the card for my daughter, and I just did pink with pearls. But how cute is that? That's a really cute die and it's super easy to make. I thought this one was one of my favorites and I uh, paper pieced a box and I put a little bit of tissue paper behind it and then I used my Cricut to cut out the heels and I had this paper from Hobby Lobby and I just put that on there and I tied a little twine ribbon around the shoe box and I put pink behind the shoe box just to make it really cute and I found this qu cute quote from Marilyn Monroe it says give the girl give a girl the right pair of shoes and she can conquer the world so I thought that was fun and cute so that is that one and <laughs> I did this one a little different from Ellen's to Lisa's because Lisa is definitely she is a domestic superhero. She loves to clean and organize and she, her house is immaculate and I thought this was hilarious because it says why yes I am a domestic superhero so I just decorated that up. It's really cute and then Ellen is married and I don't remember what her says but it's funny and it has a husband and a wife so they're both like vintage -y looking like this but like I said some are a little different and those are. And then I thought this one was fun. It's another vintage one. I had a package of vintage little cards that I had purchased at uh, Tuesday morning. This is them. Authentic, or no, authentic life car cards from Authentic. It's, these are the saucy three by four journaling and pocket crafting cards. And um, yeah, you can see I've used a lot of them, but uh, I don't know what trying to see if they had I don't know which one I used for and I haven't used all of them there's some more still down there but they're really cute cards and I thought it was fun so I put this kind of so it was like on a recipe card and then I put I cut this recipe card up and used this as an embellishment put a little flower there just because I thought it was cute added some of the uh, puffy paint and I distressed it if it fits in the toaster I can cook it <laughs> kind of funny and oh this is another one of my really 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 favorites so I love this girl you guys know that and you can find her at Hobby Lobby she's part of the LOL collection and this particular girl reminds me of Lisa and I love this quote real queens fix each other's crowns and I had this uh, like gold sticker paper in my stash and I thought it would be perfect to use so I cut this out using my Cricut I added a, a little embellishment I used a die for the bow I used a die for the decorative edging and this is paper from the LOL collection and this is just washi tape that I put on top and I just think it turned out super cute so that is that one and this one I know it's not until Christmas time but I I have just been enjoying making these so I don't even care I'll find something that I like and it gives me inspiration and I just go for it so this says jingle all the way and it has little bells and it says jingle all the way because he has a little bell on his hiney and it does that isn't that cute so it uses a little I don't even know what these are called but they are I'm trying to see if it tells me it does tell me but I can't read it 
I don't know, but if you Google, like, I don't even know what you'd Google. And they used to be big in the scrapbooking world, but it's been years ago, and so now they're not so big. And I, oh, you know, hold on, let me see if I have my packaging. Yes, they came in packages like this, and it says AWI. I'm hoping that there's a website. Actionwobble.com. So that's what it is, an action wobble, and that's W-O-B-B-L-E. So the AWI is probably Action Wobble Incorporated or something. So I thought that was just super cute fun and I found this uh, die on AliExpress and it's just a purse die and it makes the zipper and everything so I thought it was really cool and I was just playing with it. this is the first one I've I did so I just picked black and white but you can do any colors you want and I think this one turned out really cute I did Ellen's and blue and yellow which are not my favorite colors but she's and I but honestly I don't do anything you just cut it out and <laughs> Put it together I mean it was that simple but I have it so it closes over a rhinestone and then I put Lisa I'm so glad we're besties I hope your pocketbook is never empty cheers Tammy and I put a little wheat penny there because her pocketbook can't be empty right so that is that I thought that was fun I just thought that was so cute so there's that one and, oh, I already gave her one of those. Oops, I didn't realize that. And then I just made this one for her. And her son is graduating this year. And he is in track. And he's a really great runner. So I thought this would be cute. I found these stickers at Michael's. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get them and make something with it. So I thought that that was really cute. And then I went ahead and made it so that it opens. And in thinking back, I almost wish it would have opened like this because when she has it in her thing, it kind of will do that. And if I had it the other way, it would have laid a little nicer, but I didn't think of that until it was too late. So this is the way it goes. And I just put a bunch of stickers on the outside and then I put one sticker on the inside and I put some cardstock over here with the stars because he's a star. And then I was going to write something in here, but I don't know anything about running. So I thought I'd leave it blank and tell her that she could put in here like his best running time or maybe his uh like the meat information or even a running quote whatever she thought she'd want to put in here so i left that blank for her to to use and that is that so these are all of the memory decks cards that i'm going to be sharing with her uh the next time i we get together as a group which is this coming sunday but i don't know when you're going to see this so um we've I won't post this until after we've already met, so I, so I don't risk sharing things that she hasn't seen yet. So I am really excited about it. I know it's just fun, and I will share also the ones that I get from my friends. I will do a video so that you can see what I was uh, swapped with, how we exchanged, because it's just so fun. So that is that, and I'm just going to seal this up like this and then I'm going to put my little bunny back on here oh how did I have that like this stick it there and then there and that's that super cute so thanks for watching guys bye bye